1565 kilogram airplane is in level flight at a constant velocity assume upwards is positive okay so what is the net force acting on it okay now let's go and draw this plane so here's this plane okay flying There we go and it is at first level flight which and mine looks a little bit skew but simply understand that it is not going up or down okay so it's in level flight and next it's at a constant velocity in other words what does that mean acceleration is equal to zero hmm I wonder if you know what we can conclude well, before we go to any conclusions, let's go and draw a force diagram for this scenario. So, what forces are acting on it? Well, obviously, there is some forces by the uh, turbines that's pushing this thing forward. So, we have the forces of the turbines pushing in one direction. Okay, so there's our object. But now, it is in traveling at a constant velocity okay well that is because air drag or air resistance is countering it okay in the opposite direction okay but now there are more forces acting on it so here we have the turbines let's call them uh, capital T U and there we have the drag force let's call it uh, lowercase f now we have more forces acting on it we have a force of weight all objects near the surface of the earth will have weight so this will also have weight let me just move my fourth diagram down a bit okay so there is also weight going down now what you'll notice here is that these two cancel one another out okay but now what about weight it's supposed to be falling downwards even though it might be traveling forwards it might be falling forwards at the constant velocity rather but something is keeping it up and the thing that's keeping it up is if you have a closer look at the window at the um, uh, wings of a plane it has these flaps okay and what these flaps do is they push downwards so if I look at it from the side it would do that okay and now as wind is coming from the front so this is the front of the airplane it's the front of the airplane and that is the back okay as wind is coming from the front it hits the flaps and pushes down but when the wind pushes down it obviously means that the plane is being pushed up and that is what is called the uplift force so there's an uplifting force and we'll call that capital U okay there's an uplifting force that we are going to call capital U okay and the first question asks us is what is the net force acting on it now this plane is first of all traveling at level flight which means not going up or down it's traveling at a constant velocity which means there's no acceleration and that simply means that the net force is equal to zero so in other words F net the that net force is equal to zero newtons okay and I'm happy with that the next question asks us, what is the upward lift force on the plane due to air? So as you can see, air is coming from the front, pushing against the wind downwards. However, that pushes the plane upwards, and that upwards push counters for the weight that is weighing down. Okay, So what that means is that if these two cancel each other out, Okay, they're simply going to be zero, but that also means that the net force, the net force would be equal to adding all of these vectors together. So the, turb um, the, the force from the turbines, okay, plus the drag force, okay, why am I adding and not subtracting? Because why am I adding and not, not subtracting? Well, simply because their signs, if I write down their values, 
the signs would be in opposite direction. But I'm not really even considering them. I know I'm only going to consider up and down. Okay, so these two are in any way going to cancel each other out. But I also still have to add the upward lift as well as um, the downwards weight. Now it tells me to assume upwards is positive. So shouldn't I subtract W? Again, no. W, when I calculate, will be negative. And if I subtract a negative, it will change into a positive. So I'm still just adding it. But because it's in the opposite direction, it will automatically take the negative value. So I'm not going to subtract these two. So net force is equal when these two cancel simply to the upwards force plus the downwards weight, which is going to be negative anyway. So let's go and see what that means. The formula that I want is I want to know what is this downward, this upward lift. Okay, upwards is positive. One thing that I do know is that the net force is equal to zero. But I also know that the net force is u plus w. Okay, so I must take u, which is u, instead of net force, I'm going to, going to say u plus w, because net force is equal to u plus w, is equal to zero. Okay, but how can I get w? w is weight. What is weight again? Weight is the force due to gravity. In other words, mass times gravitational acceleration. Okay, now with that in mind, okay, bring a bit of color in here, u plus mass times gravity is equal to zero. And now I simply substitute. I know my mass, I know my gravity, uh, uh, gravitational acceleration, and therefore I know that u plus mass is equal to 1565. Gravitational acceleration I know is 9,8, but here's where the trick comes in. Remember, upwards is positive, so this must be minus. If that is equal to negative, it means that this that's, that used to be W will become negative. And that is why upwards force will be an upwards lift, or upwards lift will be an upwards force, and therefore be a positive value. You'll see once we get to the answer. It's equal to zero. So now what I do, I am going to multiply these two values. I get 1565 times 0.9, sorry, 9.5, not 0.95, 9.8 with a negative is equal to negative 15337. Okay, so negative 15337 is equal to zero. So I get that upwards lift is equal to 15337. Okay, and what are we, what is upwards lift? It's a force. So then uh, the unit is Newtons and the direction is upwards. So let's go put in our information in here. We've already said that the net force is zero. And what is the upward lifting force? Which formula did we use? We used that formula to calculate the weight. The only other formula we used was to say that the net force is equal to the sum of all the forces, and it's not here. That's a general thing. Um, but if you said none of the above, that will also be answered correctly. But I use that, that formula, so I'm going to use that formula. So I select that formula. I know that the net force is equal to zero. I know that the mass is equal to 15465. Uh, 1565, let me just confirm, yes, 1565, acceleration, I also know was equal to zero, okay, there was no acceleration here, up or down or forward, left or right, okay, we know the gravitational constant is 9.8, oh, but don't forget, it should be negative 9.8, and we also know that the weight, we calculated the weight, so we can enter it here, you don't have to because we're calculating it in our uh, substitution step, but you can put it in here, it won't be wrong, it won't be right, uh, well it won't be wrong uh, if we put in, but remember it is negative, when W was calculated it took a negative value because it's a downward 
and upwards was assumed to be positive. Okay, assume upwards is positive. So negative one five three three seven. Okay, now substituting. We this is our substitution step right there. Okay, so in substituting, we're simply going to type out that formula. U is equal to one five six five times and remember negative 9.8 is equal to 0 oh, what am I doing here that should be equal it should be a plus ok and that's where this part becomes negative and when we end up solving it we find that u is equal to 15337 newtons use newtons as your unit for this one ok and um, I think I'm going to add direction here. I'll put that into the question as well. Okay, I'm happy.